by its game with Master of the Morning so you own the day. Have you ever taken enough time to just ask yourself and answer why you think the way you think? Why you're the way that you are? What influences have you had in your life that have actually sculpted you and molded you into the person that you are today? I'm standing here in Southern Utah, the Red Rock capital of the world, home to Rainbow Bridge, to delicate art. What we have to understand is that in this Red Rock formation world in which I stand, the reason why we have this majest majestic beauty in the rust colored stone is because this rock has such a high content of iron that when it came in contact, when it was influenced by air and oxidized water, that reaction came together and created what we see behind me. What does that have to do with human performance and becoming the very best version of ourselves, everything we were born to be? Well, you think about it. We've often said we become the average of the five people we associate with the most. And the reason why we say that is because it's so true. It's about the influences that we have in our lives. There's no mystery in why Native Americans, the nations of Navajo, Apache, and other Native American tribes have found their homes in Southern Utah in the Four Corners area. You see, they understand the difference between religion and spirituality. Do you? Religion is for those who are afraid to go to hell. Spirituality is for those of us who have already been there. And in the Native American culture, they don't even have a word for religion because they understand the significance of what we've all been taught that I hope we'll forever believe. Pray as though everything depends on God, but work as though everything depends on you. And therefore, we can't just come to someone's rescue and say, pray, have faith, have more hope. Yes, we need to rely on heaven. And as a man of faith, I say my prayers regularly. But if you think about it, when you pray to God, he answers our prayers through other people. And it's the Native American culture that reminds us of this. They honor the land, the air, the fire, and the water because they understand that the elements here on earth are where we find our support, where we find our spirituality, where we find our answers to prayer. Think about this story as we wind down my challenge. A dear friend of mine in our neighborhood, he owned this beautiful Yadro porcelain statue of Jesus. And the statue was Jesus standing there with his hands outstretched. And in the move in our neighborhood to a brand new home, both of the hands of that statue were broken off. And as he invited us to come to his, his open house, his housewarming party a couple of weeks later, we all knew he had the money and the resources to find that artist who could perfectly repair that porcelain statue. But when we showed up to his reception, there was the statue of Jesus on his coffee table in his living room. Both hands were gone. I pulled him aside. I said, why didn't you repair the statue of Jesus? He says, because I wanted to remind us all that we are the hands of Jesus. Regardless if your religious tradition is Christianity, it could be Jewish, it could be Islam. We are the hands of service. We serve Almighty God, Allah source, the supreme being, whatever you want to call our supreme being, well, we need to understand that when we rely on one another to serve before self and do everything in our power to look out for each other, suddenly the scriptures make perfect sense. We have to believe that when you're in the service of others, you're definitely in the service of God. If this message resonates with you, please share it with family, share it with clergy, reminding each other that faith without works is not faith at all. That too many live their lives hoping to be happy, but because we, they only hope, they never really are. And therefore, let us just look left, look right, put down our phones and see how we can serve each other in front and back to each side of us 
to uplift humanity in that Native American mindset that we're here for each other and that the answers are really in the forest. The answers are really in each other.